as FlowCert assure the credibility of the fair trade system. When an organization wants to join fair trade, it must fulfill the fair trade standard requirements. FlowCert is mandated certification activities, hence is responsible for ensuring that all organizations are in line with the fair trade standards. As soon as an organization has met its requirements, a certificate is issued. Our checks are generally done via audits on a wide range of certified organizations. These organizations may range from cooperatives that farm, for example, cocoa beans, to companies that process the cocoa beans into chocolate, to brands that sell to the final consumers. Overall, we have around 6,000 certified customers worldwide. What happens in an audit? I verify that companies and organizations are in compliance with the fair trade standards and requirements. This means that I conduct meetings and interviews with farmers, producers, and committees. We verify different documents, social, environmental, and economical aspects. I note down all the results. In case there's a deviation, I will mark this as a non-conformity. A key topic that I verified is that the fair trade premium money is being paid on time, and my colleagues that are auditing producers will verify that the premium of the cooperatives is being used in common agreement and consent of all the farmers. We also verify that all fair trade volumes that are being claimed among the supply chain are being reported correctly. How many audits did FlowCert do in 2021? When the COVID pandemic started in 2020, it became impossible for us to do on-site audits. So we switched to remote audits and we still continue using this methodology to ensure that our customers continue with their fair trade business. In 2021, FlowCert conducted close to around 3,500 audits, out of which 2,100 were done remotely. Remote audits consist of document sharing and review and virtual interactions between the auditor and the customer. In addition, we also do remote interviews with the worker and farmer and also have remote uh, site visits or site tours. This enables us to ensure that every aspect of the audit is covered using the remote audit methodology for both producers and traders. In addition, we did close to around 100 unannounced audits. This basically means that a customer does not know when an audit is supposed to happen. We do this when we have indications that there have been violations to the fair trade standards. In all our audits, we have identified close to around 21,000 non-conformities, which averages out to 5.9 non-conformity per audit. Sounds like a lot of non-conformities. Does this mean that certification does not work? An organization needs to correct all its non-conformities before it receives its fair trade certificate. So if we detect a non-conformity, the organization is informed and needs to address it. A non-conformity in itself is not a bad thing because it leads the organization to ultimately change its business practices. And that means to improve the conditions for farmers and workers in its supply chain. Having said this, we are very strict about violations. That means if co companies do not play by the fair trade standards. In 2021, for example, we have suspended 558 organizations and decertified 79. It is great to see that the number of voluntary decertifications by um, certified organizations significantly dropped in 2021. This shows that even in difficult times like a pandemic or an economic crisis, fair trade certification remains a very popular choice.